that path and happily travel down it. But looking at the situation, I realized that there are many people in this world who are lost. Many people who go through motions every day, not pleasing the spirit, but pleasing the flesh. These people losing themselves each day need to be turned around by the spirit, which is the only thing that can. However, we all must know that at the end of the day, he is God. We, he is a God of forgiveness and love, and he is always with us. One of my good friends that I've known a while from home came into college with high spirits and major goals and ambitions. Unfortunately, some negative things happened back home, and with his own slip-ups on campus, he just isn't the same anymore. He was going through it, but knowing him, it took a lot to get whatever it was out of him. So at one of the Bible study sessions that the upper-class black men have with the younger freshmen, we adjust the topic, and I can hear the hurt in my friend's voice when he shared his thoughts. College is already enough to drive you crazy. <laughs> so I knew that there had to have been so much on his plate and he needed help. I sat and talked with him about something I was going through, and he completely understood everything I was saying and feeling. And by sharing, he felt comfortable discussing his issues as well. My friend's case wasn't like the others. They were a combination of them. He needed uplifting, reclamation, and restoration. In the scripture of 1 Peter 5 and 10, Peter says, but the God of all grace, who hath called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after they ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. Knowing that in the end, your suffering will not be in vain and that yeah. God will perfect, confirm, strengthen, and establish you yeah. should give you new hope and light a fire under you in preparation for better days. Yeah. Yeah. All my friends, I feel, fell by the wayside, which we all do sometimes, yeah. and forgot that the God they served is also God. Yeah. Going through these stages of change in life can sometimes lead to nothing but confusion and disarray but only if you face those changes without him. Although it may not look as such, there are still people around you too who need uplifting out of a situation they can't handle alone. There's always gonna be somebody who becomes lost and do what's easy and become a follower of the wrong thing. And there will always be broken vessels who need restoration. Through prayer and understanding God's word, our growth as young men and women, men and women, College students, children of God, will become exponential. Only then can we begin to walk the path that God has set for us.